Hello and welcome. Susan Taylor Shire, Soul Mastery Treasure Chest Tuesday. Just so you know, you're on the right flight that you were hoping for, <laughs> either through email or YouTube. So, <clears throat> embracing your brilliance seems to be a theme right now. And having just returned a week ago from our fabulous retreat, Adventure in Sedona, Arizona. I was so in the state of being um, so happy for all that occurred during that time and how it all went and what came through me, what came through the participants, how much fun we had. We had those moments of laughing until we peed in our pants, kind of laughing, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> and very in-depth conversations and amazing adventures and dancing and just remarkable the um and incredible food etc so i was filled very full uh with all of that and then two days later i hit the anniversary of my beautiful soul friend dog that died just a year ago and it surprised me, but I had buckets of grief. Now, I knew this buckets of grief related to letting go of another dimension of his presence in my life emotionally to make room for deeper levels of love in my life. And I am so grateful to know that, but I still had to go through the process. And I was, uh, what came to me, which as many of you know, it's always songs, that, often songs that come to me, was Celine Dion's song, and I think it's hers, I don't know whose it is. <laughs> um, uh, the Way You Loved Me, okay? So it's, it's a song of beautiful appreciation for another person who may not be in your life at this point. Great Thanksgiving, so it was really wonderful, and I still cried buckets of tears. So, um, and then the next day there were some um, uh, crazy things going on with a family member that uh, was hard on my heart to hear about. And then the next day, and then a few days later, there was a, a birth of a new baby in my family. So, you know, it's called life, the roller coaster of life. And I'm aware right now through the retreat, through talking to people before the retreat and clients, etc., cetera, uh, and after the retreat, that this is a very um, intensely moving time, very intensely moving time. And I realized that part of what we're working with is we don't have something outside ourselves um, like a horrible president or this situation right in front of us that we can all sort of gather around and go, that's why I feel so angry. That's why I feel so scared. And we, we are not holding on so tightly to this pandemic never being over with vaccines coming along and states opening up and things like that. There's a feeling that there's a light at the end of the tunnel, which is beautiful. And I'm still finding so many people, and I have some of this myself, still having to go through these emotional challenges. So we're learning at another deeper level how to uh, emerge through these challenges in ways that don't knock us down. Again, we don't have something on the outer to say, oh, it's because of that that I feel this. Um, now I had specific situations, but I knew that it really wasn't about those specific situations, that it was something deeper wanting to be clarified in myself. So how do we maintain that brilliant spark within us. How do we maintain and grow our brilliance, like I described that happened in Sedona for me, and I know for other participants as well, how do I sustain that in-depth, beautiful time um, in my, uh, in my um, uh, history, we'll call it, okay? And when the um, stuff hits the fan, well, getting to that place of brilliance in ourselves and keeping that light lit, is a remembrance of, a way to do that is to remember our brilliance. It's not just bringing in light, 
bringing in love, because often that can be conceptual. What about our brilliance? So here's some brilliance right here, huh? Isn't that perfect how that worked out? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so even if it's remembering back to the last loaf of banana bread you made in the pandemic and how proud you were that that turned out, or something you did with a grandchild or a pet or your capacity to, uh, in, in my case, another one might be to be able to, um, I have a leg thing going on, to be able to, through the PT I'm doing, walk better than I was able to before. Feel that brilliance. Would you call it an accomplishment? No, it's a, it's a sense of brilliance lighting up in me and going, yes, this is happening to know that we can always come back to that place that sparks, that place inside of us that we are a brilliant creator. I'm a brilliant creator. And that is so, so important in these times because we're not through this major transformational process on the face of the planet. There are bigger fish to fry, bigger pieces that we'll be walking through and we're learning how to not just surf the waves, but to keep that brilliance alive. And that is so important. So think of a time, it's not just your, it could be your happy place when you felt very brilliant. It could be all sorts of things, but think of a time where you felt bright and brilliant and a feeling that yes, about life, yes, about life. And I created that, or I, yeah, I am. I'm a conscious being of contribution. And even if it's small, you feel that sense of I am contributing. Because also at this time, there's a feeling that we have been working towards moving uh, to new levels of creation and new possibilities in ourselves, but we're not quite there yet. So a lot of people are feeling this sense of, well, I don't feel my brilliance. I know this would be a grand idea, and I know I had this creative juice moving for it, but it's not quite coming forward. So how do we keep that brilliance alive is really, really important to keep the process moving a little bit at a time, even if it's a daily piece that we add to the, uh, um, the kettle of what we're cooking to keep what we're creating moving forward versus well, you know, I know I want to have a wellness center, but it just seems so far away. Keep moving forward. Keep your brilliance alive. And I know there's still a lot of fears around as well, because here we are going, yay, we're going to be released. We're going to be free, you know, from this pandemic. It's not going to be here forever. But there's also all these old fears in us that relate to <laughs> feeling like, oh my God, I don't know if I trust people anymore. I don't know if I trust situations. What other kind of invisible enemy is out there? Is there a mutation? Is there this? Can I really go step into the world? Will it really be there for me? Will I be able to financially make it this time because it's been a little high and dry in the last year? Those are rel relatively real um, fears. So be aware of them and be able to go, this time I have changed. I have more to contribute. There's more of me, a deeper place of love within me that I'm stepping into. And I take this into this new level of creation. And your brilliance will bring forth a sense of what would I like to create now? That creative juice going, what would I like to create now? which is something of sovereignty that you can always bring into the equation, no matter what is going on in the outer world. And as I say, right now, I know astrologically, there aren't a bunch of uh, planets in retrograde, so we can't blame the planets in retrograde <laughs> for our, whatever's going on. We just have to go, wow, some of my deeper layers of things are up and I wanna keep my brilliance going while I also acknowledge and move into those areas of sadness, fear, um, anger, overwhelm, whatever it is, I'm going to keep that spark going to help me move through with greater ease and grace, whatever it is that's on my plate. And that's what keeps you shining and moving forward to know that you are contributing. If you feel that brilliance in you alive and well, you know you're contributing. And that's 
the best gift you can bring to yourself, A, and to the world, B, you see? So keep shining, keep that brilliance going, and keep activating that within you as you traverse this grand cycle of resurrection. I'm so with you, I'm so with you. And if you find that this was a valuable video for you, a vlog, <laughs> whatever you wanna call it, please feel free to share it with friends, family, whoever might be open, whoever is having a time of things and needs a little inspiration. I'm here to inspire, uplift, and cheerlead you forward so that you can find your brilliance is larger than your emotional body of pain that is trying to trans be transmuted and uplifted, uplifted by your brilliance. So have a brilliant, beautiful week, and you'll be hearing more from me next week and um, great things coming forward from the brilliance that my guides are giving me to be unveiled soon. Much love and blessings.